Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Homeschool Academy, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. This is our composition class where we talk about punctuation, capitalization, and over the last few weeks, and really specifically over the last two units, we've had a great time um, working through sentences and looking for any kind of errors, be it capitalization, be it punctuation, making those modifications, and uh, being able to proudly know that we're uh, overcoming in the area of composition and grammar has been a lot of fun. If you've been following me, you know some of the thrill we've had learning some things. Our fruit of the Spirit this week is kindness. God wants us to develop and to display fruit of kindness. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you to be kind and to display kindness first to God and to others, and I believe he'll gift you with that this day. Our sentences here on the board read, what is going to happen to Lucy at the Kingsman shelter? I want Lucy back. I know I can't take care of her. Lucy will always be my best dog friend. We have Lucy's collar to always remind us of her. Okay, so four statements. Let's begin. Here we have the uh, beginning of a sentence. It should be capitalized. Let's start by capitalizing that. What is going to happen to Lucy? Is Lucy the name of the dog? What do we need to do with that L? It needs to be capitalized. That's right. It's the proper name. The dog has a name. His name is Lucy. Here we have Kingsman Shelter. Is that a name of a specific shelter? Yeah, it's a specific shelter. I don't know where it is, but it has a specific name, so we want to capitalize it to show recognition that it is a proper noun. And we need to end this with a question mark. This is an interrogative statement. Yes, don't forget your question mark. We want to make that I uppercase. We also want to capitalize L and Lucy. We have here, I want Lucy back, comma, I know I can't take care of her. What do you think the writer's trying to say? I want her back, but I know I can't take care of her. I want her back, yet I know I can't take care of her. Is there meant to get conjunction there? Yeah, there's meant to get conjunction there. So let's go ahead and write in yet so that we can get rid of that comma splice that currently exists, okay? I want Lucy back, yet I know I can't take care of her. Is that better? Here we have another lowercase i, let's, uppercase, let's make that uppercase. This can't is a conjunction. Um, of two words and so we want to a contraction of two words we want to combine uh, two words can and not forming the word can't so don't forget your apostrophe I can't take care of her let's add a period there Lucy we want to capitalize L for two reasons it starts the sentence and because it's the name of a, a dog it has a proper noun Lucy would always be my best dog friend we need to add a period we the W and we needs to be capitalized we have Lucy's collar. Here we have a possessive noun, so we need that S to be, uh, we need an apostrophe there. We have Lucy's collar. Who does the collar belong to? It belongs to Lucy, doesn't it? To always remind us of her. And as your period, and boys and girls, you have just done a lot of good writing, a lot of good revising, and you may grow up to be a teacher one day. That's all I have for you today. Please take time to complete your composition exercise in your workbook. But until next time, remember Jesus loves you, and so do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend.